Racing at Daytona for the Truck Series every year since 2000. This is the 22nd edition. So glad to be here with you tonight for the season opener for the Camping World Truck Series 2021 campaign, the first of 22 races. This is when the nerves are really at their peak, Vance, coming down for this green flag. Pace vehicle is off. Johnny Sauter on the pole. Four drivers have won from the pole. None since Kaz Grala in 2017. Let's see if Sauter can get it done. We're racing at Daytona. And we've got contact already. Didn't even get to the start finish line before uh, some vehicles got tangled up, including, oh, what a heartbreaker for the 44. They had so much expectation tonight. James Busher, he started last Vince and yet wasn't able to I'm sure things just sort of stacked up somebody might have missed a shift but you can't see through other trucks that well so anything that happened up ahead of him caused caused a backup and man he must have been hard on the gas all the way in the back yeah there's that Tanner Gray in the in the 15 you can see him, he didn't go where's that Derek Krause the 19 I think is involved in that as well Something uh, with the 15 having an initial problem. Tanner Gray didn't yeah. get going. And, you know, there's just no way for those drivers to see through the other trucks. Jinjo Cobb on the bottom does a nice job. You're really allowing your spotter to let you know what's going on on these starts. And when, when you have a problem like Tanner did, Jamie, that just makes it really difficult for those other guys to get through. Re-racked and going to do it again with Sauter on the inside and Sheldon Creed on the outside. Let's see if we can do it a little cleaner this time. The green back out. Couple of Thor Sport teammates at the point with Sauter and his teammate in the 98 truck, Grant Infinger, right behind him. You saw John Hunter Nemechek get in the back. This is crazy. Look at these guys pushing and shoving. Hope they make it back. Lassard out front, Infinger in second, and then it's Nemechek and Creed side by side for third. It's going to be a big yeah. push on the outside lane. Look at Johnny Sauter up to Creed with pushing by help from behind. Who's going to get that first playoff point with a stage win? Lassard trying to hold off the pack behind him. Oh. oh, it looked like Sheldon got a little bit loose there. Way loose. Here comes Lassard through the trioval. <laughs> the teenager from Canada gets stage one at Daytona. Whew. This is stage two, Camping World Truck Series at Daytona. And just remember, Vince, that's not a death sentence for Matt Crafton. I mean, there's going to be stage breaks. There's going to be a lot of action. Crafton can get back in this game. 19 truck on the right, outside, middle of the screen. There it goes, I think. Yeah, Maybe you've you, seen can, the you see it already starting to, to wiggle, and he, he knows that. He makes a great save right here not to get into the, to the outside wall, and, and also everyone else did a great job around him not to get into him. That's David Gilliland that uh, avoided Kraus. After Derek Kraus cut down a tire and spun through the infield grass, some came to pit road, some elected not to. John Hunter Nemechek, Ben Rhodes, Johnny Sauter, Chandler Smith, Rafael Lassard all staying out. Chris Wright, we saw him with trouble on pit road. He's coming back, and here comes the man that's been the highlight reel so far, Kraus. Man, that don't get your heart pumping nothing, Will. Look at all that pushing and shoving. Lassard won stage one. Rhodes trying to keep the pack behind him to win stage two. Pretty big run coming on the outside, Jamie. Creed jumps to the outside to try to catch Chandler Smith and a little momentum from the 18 truck. 
see Johnny Sauter's going to get a little bit of a run with John Hunter. John Hunter's going to pull out. I think that's a great move. Johnny Sauter's, oh, he's going to go with John Hunter instead of going with his teammate. And John Hunter Nemechek wins stage two. Man, that was, that's just. I think just, that's interesting. Why, why did Johnny Sauter not go with his teammate right there? Mm. In finger in the 98 on the inside, Ankrum on the outside. Green at Daytona. That's David Gilliland in the 17 on the outside, row two. Yeah, we haven't talked about David much during this race, but great speedway racer, and he's put himself in a good position here for this final stage. And his son, Todd, in the 38. Matt Crafton sandwich between them. Really important if you're a truck on the bottom, you keep it tucked low. Yeah, and I'm telling you, when you see them move up that half a truck link, Michael, it's because it's not handling the way they want. They would like to be right on that yellow line. But when you drive in, if you're a little loose, you move up just a little bit. Caution is out, and again, it's the 19 wow. of Derek Kraus. Also the 40. Ryan Truex. Truex involved as well. He's got flat tires, I think. No damage, it doesn't look like. That looks it like looks like he cut a tire, tire down again. again. Yeah. You know, once you get the damage, it, it's hard to keep all the tires clearance. You also don't know if, if a crush panel, something's fallen off and then you're running over it. But that's two what appears to be left rear tires. Those are like the right rear actually is cut down this time. Yeah, I think it got the right rear, but it wasn't significant. Well, it's pretty significant. We'll see if they can make it pay off tonight in this final stage. <laughs> Son was pretty aggressive yeah. on dad's bumper, yeah. wasn't he? Dad made a point, you stay with me. Zane Smith, third in line on the inside in that orange 21, God, right behind the Gillilands. They've got to be careful. Not so to... aggressive on the restarts right here, trying to get out into the front. Got to be careful not to lock those bumpers. NASCAR will watch that closely. You can bump, but you can't push. Back to green at Daytona with 36 to go. That's Brian Doza in the 28, and Tyler Ankrum squeezing past him as Doza oh. goes to the bottom, and Ankrum Maybe got a bump in the back end from the 38 of Gilliland, and he's going to keep it. Oh, almost contact, but was able Sheldon, to keep it clean. Ingram got lucky right there. Yeah, like, he Shel got, Sheldon Creed got involved as well into the 33 yeah, he is still wrecking of Jason White. See if the 38 of Gilliland, oh, he gets hit. He hits, doesn't give a pop to the 26 of Ankrum here. Yeah, he's trying to push him on through, and Ankrum's nope. bobbing and weaving, yep. and here comes Gillen, I think, right there. Yep. Yeah, that Ankrum's truck was already light in the back. It, did, it didn't look like Todd hit him very hard there, but it, when, you know, when you're in the middle, most vulnerable, and he's so lucky right there that uh. he didn't get collected. I just think they're going to get four or five lanes from the front, guys, and, it, and it's going to stall out. That's Ankrum and Creed, Zane Smith up top in that third lane. Getting another taker, a couple Super, of trucks yeah. looking to go on the outside. And it looked like the Nice trucks had pulled up in front of him. It's Brett Moffitt in the 45. And now Johnny Sauter goes to the top lane. Big run by Johnny Sauter, moves up in front of those guys, trying to get that outside lane formed up. Big bump draft right there. Roper in the 04 with a Huge big push. shot. Moffitt right behind him. Three wide. Oh, and Moffitt's looking to make it four. Oh, that is not good. There's four wide. I knew it would happen. Truck's not stable, and that's going to send Gilliland around. And big wreck. That is big damage to Gilliland and Stuart Friesen. I mean, that's just four wide, Jamie. Tate Fogelman in the 12 took big damage there as well. Oh, what a tough finish for David, uh, for Todd Gilliland. 
You Here's see uh, Todd Gillen was kind of indecisive there. He didn't didn't go to the second lane, and he didn't go up and block that outside lane, and that's what put them four wide. Um, you, you know, you get in that position, and you're waiting on your spotter to clear you one way or the other, and if the spotter's not 100% sure, you get stuck there, and, and, and that's what resulted in getting four wide, and there's just not enough room. I mean, you, you said it, Michael. Uh, Talladega, we can run four wide, and it's 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 hairy, but you can do it. It's just really hard to do here at Daytona. And, and it looked like Matt Crafton lost the nose of his truck. It looked like he pushed up. Well, he's missing a fender. Yeah, so watch right here. Gillen's okay. Maybe. Oh, and he oh it looked like he had a little help from behind, actually, yeah, that yeah. shot him up. That'll make you lose the front end of your truck. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Only three vehicles took significant damage. Chandler Smith lead them to green. I just can't believe they went four wide with this much racing to go, but I'll see things I won't believe continue to happen here tonight. But his 16 is really locked. He's going to have to be careful. He stays locked on too long. They're going to, he's going to get in trouble. Look at that speedy drive. Just a big cloud as they go through it. Yeah, and that stuff's going to stick to their tear offs. It's going to make it a little more difficult for them to see. It seems like the, the static or whatever, that, that stuff just clings. If you look at all the, t the windshields right now, really hard to see out of. For the lead with Infinger and Chandler Smith side by side. Camping World 20 to go. Three wide at Daytona. That is awesome. Look at that speedy drive. Matt Crafton with a big push down the back. Haley Deegan. Contact. Way in the back. Yeah, really That's hard to see insane. what happened there. How difficult is it to see when you go through that speedy drive? I mean, from I, I think our it's perspective, worse. it looks like it's really I difficult. I think it's worse from the perspective we see here on yep. TV. But definitely, it's it's it it it's hard to see through that. Um, but you got to remember, it's only two or three seconds, and you're essentially going straight. If if nothing happens in front of you, see her it has a pretty big impact. It, it, it's only doing it in the corners. It looks like it gets way worse in the corner. You think maybe he got now, bumped? Now, Crafton is slowed and has dropped back several spots. Timothy Peters hops up behind Ben Rhodes and gives a nice push. Now the 18 smoking, too. Wow, Infinger hanging on to this one despite some smoke. And now Chandler Smith has gone around. He was up fighting for the lead. Gathers it up without hitting anything, but... Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a caution. Green is still they're out. They're going to stay green here. Still racing. And oh. now they're crashing. Timothy Peters involved. Tyler Ankrum has taken a big hit. Wow. John Hunter Nemechek. Several contenders. Heck, Timothy Peters and Chandler Smith had just been fighting for the lead. Johnny Sauter has taken some damage as well. A big hit from Tyler Ankrum. And there's Timothy Peters. The damage done to that 25 Rackley Chevrolet. There you see Tyler Ankrum getting himself ready to get out of the truck. Austin Hill, winner here. Winner. Yeah. You've got to get to the end, and that's the toughest part. Getting to the end, the toughest part, right? Might be the best spin Chandler Smith has ever taken. He spun himself out of that pack, <laughs> down on the bottom of the He's apron. He's going to get tires and be in a pretty good position. <laughs> He's yeah. going to come get him some tires <laughs> yeah. and be a part of this battle. And Hosevar. How many trucks were involved in that wow. one? Must have been about all of them. Glad to see Ankrum giving the nod that he's okay and walking away. Very talented young racer. Get into the ambulance for the trip to the Advent Healthcare Center. It's going to be busy over there. 
Saw Lassard and the damage he took on. And there's Sheldon, or excuse me, Chandler Smith. With an opportune spin at Daytona. You don't say that very often. So watch up front. Contact right there. That was another the case, Jamie, the of catching that apron, and it just bounced the 18 up the hill, and that's where that smoke came from. Yeah, and so the, the thing is, when the, when the truck travels, when it gets to the corner, that's why it's filling the, the, the cockpit up with smoke. Oh, Timothy Peters trying to get in a hole that's not there. Yeah, Drew Dollar in the 51. Didn't have anywhere to go. No, that was not Drew Dollar's fault. To see if he survives this little conflict, and then Peters right back up into traffic. How much damage does Johnny Sauter get? And a clip Sauter there in the left rear. Carson Hosevar. Well, a lot of innocent victims. You know, we hear it all the time. When when you when you want to make a move, you just have to be so aggressive. Because if you if you ease down like you see Timothy Peters there, that gap gets filled up and and it's, you know, it's four laps to go right now. No one's going to give you any room or, or let off at this point. That's just trying to close a hole that was it's already there. occupied. Yeah. Several of those drivers just had absolutely nowhere to go. John Hunter about, looks like not major damage. Now his didn't look too bad, at least the, the, on, the, on the right side that I saw. It's right on board with the 16 of Austin Hill and Tyler Ankrum's Get farming. a look at it. All we need is an action-packed two laps. Overtime in the series opener at Daytona. Ben Rhodes and David Gilliland. Nice push by Crafton. I like the way Crafton just maybe had just a yeah, bit of spacing. Yeah, a little more gentle when he hit. Sheldon hit, hit uh, David so hard that he pushed him out, but he's locked onto him right now. Ben Rhodes has got out front. He's probably going to try to block both lanes if he needs to. This is not great for Ben Rhodes, other than the fact he's got Matt Kraft and his teammate behind him. Creed jumps to the outside. Gilliland getting hung out in the middle. Corey Roper giving Big a shove. push from that 404 truck. Here comes Chris Wright in the 02. Look at the big push he gives to Sheldon Creed. Rhodes jumps up front to block Creed and now back to the bottom. Yeah, great move there by Ben Rhodes to move up and, and kind of stall out the two. But I'm telling you, the 04 truck is pushing Sheldon Creed. Look at that. White flag. Huge One to push. Go. Creed up top, and there was some contact in the wall by Roper. And now Roper goes to the bottom. Good move. Corey Tim Roper to the front. Crafton giving his teammate Ben Rhodes a little shove. Can they get past the 0-4 of Corey Roper? Contact in the 22 of Austin Wayne, self going around. We stay green on the final lap at Daytona. Ben Rhodes is backed up. He's going to get a little bit of a run right here on him. Corey here comes his Roper, teammate. the Texan, trying to hold on, 43 years old. Oh. Big crash, and Ben Rhodes going around the outside and across the line. Jordan Anderson with the huge run. But it's Ben Rhodes, the winner. Wow. That's yeah, crazy what <laughs> happens on the last lap here. Yes, Vince. Love wow. You, we talked about how aggressive that young man was in the draft, how hard he pushed, put himself in the right position. Corey Roper did a heck of a job, though, Michael. You look at the push he gave Sheldon Creed, and then to, to get to the, to the lead on the last lap, Ben Rhodes just had that huge run off turn four. Richard Lucius, the crew chief of Ben Rhodes with his first win as a crew chief in his first race. He had been the truck chief for Johnny Sauter and takes over the crew chief role and gets the win. Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.